ശാന്നാഥ മാല പെരു നാടുനി പെന്തി കോസ്തി പാവന സ്വാസം സ്നേഹം സൽഗതി എന്നിവയിൽ പൂർണത നൽകി മനുഷ്യനായ കർത്താവ് ആശ്വാസപ്രദമായ റൂഹ എന്ന ആന്തരികമായ പൊതുവേ പാനത്താൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ശരീരാന്തയങ്ങൾ തൃപ്തിപ്പെടുവാൻ ഞങ്ങളെ യോഗ്യരാക്കേണ്ടവേ പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശ്രുഖായുമായുള്ളവേ അതുമൂലം ഞങ്ങൾ നിർമ്മലീകരിക്കപ്പെട്ട് വിശുദ്ധിയുള്ളവരായി തീർന്ന നിർമ്മലരായങ്ങളും വിശുദ്ധങ്ങളുമായ നാവുകളാൽ വന്യവും വിശുദ്ധവും തിരുനാമത്തിന് ഇപ്പോഴും എല്ലായ്പ്പോഴും നീക്കും വിശുദ്ധ സ്തുതിപാടുമാറാകണമേ in the loving kindness in the abundance of thy mercy bold on my sin wash me thoroughly from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin for i acknowledge my fault and my sins are before me always against you only have i sinned and done evil in thy sight that thou may be justified in thy word and vindicated in thy judgment For I was born in guilt and in sin did my mother conceive me but you take pleasure in truth and you have made known to me the secrets of your wisdom sprinkle me with your hyssop and I shall be clean wash me and I shall be whiter than snow give me the comfort of your joy and gladness and the bonds which have been humble shall I join Turn away your face from my sin and bow down all my faults. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew your steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. But restore to me your joy and your salvation and let your glory spirit sustain me that I may teach the wicked your way and sinners. merit unto you deliver me from blood of god god of my salvation and my tongue shall praise your justice lord open my lips and my mouth shall sing your praise for you do not take pleasure in sacrifice by burnt offering you are not opposed as the sacrifice of god is humble spirit a heart that is contrite god will not despise to you the new good pleasure is i on to build up the walls of jerusalem that it shall you be satisfied with our voices of truth and with the whole burnt offerings that it shall they offer bulls upon your altar and to you belongs the praise of god that it more സോ ഗ്ലോ 
Jesus gives. Oh God, have mercy on us. Oh Lord, send us your Holy Spirit and enlighten the eyes of our minds. Oh God, have mercy on us. Purify and sanctify us all. Savior, by your life-giving Spirit, O oh God, have mercy on us. He divided the tongues of fire among his innocent disciples, O oh God, have mercy on us. He gave the Holy Spirit to all the apostles in the form of tongues, O oh God, have mercy on us. Spirit, he bestowed wisdom that his apostles might preach his word. O oh God, have mercy on us, God of Lord. Glory be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, unto the ages of ages and forevermore. Let us all praise the Holy Spirit, who descended on the apostles, O oh God, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. God, come more awaken, O Lord, our hearts in the submersion of sin. Enlighten our minds by the spiritual radiance of your Holy Spirit. Sanctify our souls by your divine gifts. And grant wisdom to our intellects that we may understand the true and supreme worship of the consubstantial three persons of the Godhead now and always and forever. Amen. Baruch Mor, sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. When, when Moses was hidden and veiled in the thick cloud, cloud that stammer hastened to speak eloquently, proclaiming the law written by God. When, when he shook off the filthiness of the body from the mind, he excelled in the mystical knowledge of the Holy Spirit, and he offered praises in a divine manner. He is mighty and glorious. The Lord Yahweh has become our Savior. That honorable, holy, and glorious mouth commanded, saying, Let no one separate or disinherit my beloved ones and my friends. Behold, I sit above with the Father on the glorious throne, and pour the gift of the Holy Spirit on those who earnestly desire to be illuminated by Him. Summon God, O Nisale kugle andal me ano no min muri ano me na milurum brardich karta avino da ningring langarunayam yaji kinnam karmi vana karta ave nyanglod karna cheda nyangale sahai kena me tishvogato daudi sagadra kolo sorumro mato bolu budila minoi sabkolo suvan vabkole do. सकल मानुषिक चलोधिया अनाद्यमेंटाधिकारोड़ 
ഒരു ഗ്നൂമ മറ്റൊരു നൂമായേക്കാൾ ചെറുതോ പ്രായം കൂട്ടിയതോ അല്ല വലിപ്പത്തിലോ ചെറുപ്പത്തിലോ ന്യൂമാകൾക്ക് അന്തരമോ വ്യത്യാസമോ ഇല്ല യാതൊരു ഗ്നൂമ എന്ന മോന നിത്യതയിൽ നിന്ന് ചെറുതോ അന്യമോ അല്ല പിതാവെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ പുത്രനും റൂഹായും അവനിൽ നിന്നുള്ളവരാകുന്നു പുത്രൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ പിതാവും റൂഹായും അൻമൂലമാവുന്നു അറിയപ്പെടുന്നത് റൂഹായ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ പിതാവും പുത്രനും അവൻ പൂർത്തിയായിരിക്കുന്നു പിതാവ് ജനകനാകുന്നു ജനിച്ചവനല്ല പുത്രൻ ജനിച്ചവനാകുന്നു ജനകനല്ല പരിശുദ്ധ പിതാവ് പുറപ്പെടുന്നവനും പുത്രൻ നിന്ന് എടുക്കുന്നവനും പിതാവ് സ്വഭാവിയും തുല്യനിത്യതയുള്ളവനുമാകുന്നു തനിക്ക് പെന്റി ക്രിസ്തി പെരുന്നാളിന്റെ ഒന്നാം കോപം പൂർത്തീകരിക്കപ്പെടുന്ന ഈ സമയത്തും സകല പെരുന്നാളുകളിലും നേരങ്ങളിലും കാലങ്ങളിലും സമയങ്ങളിലും അടിയങ്ങളുടെ ആയുഷ്കാലം മുഴുവൻ സ്തുതിയും ആരാധന അർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ അതിപ്പോഴും എല്ലായ്പ്പോഴും എന്നേക്കും തന്നെ അദൃശ്യന് അപ്രമേന മനാദ്യന് അപരിമിതനുമായ ദൈവം തമ്പുരാനെ നീ ഏക സാരാംശമായി അറിയപ്പെടുന്നു മൂന്ന് വിശദങ്ങളുമാകളായി വിവേചിക്കപ്പെടുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു സകല വിവേക പ്രവർത്തികളും മൂന്ന് പ്രത്യേക പ്രത്യേക ലക്ഷണങ്ങളോട് നിന്നെ കുറിച്ച് ഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു ഏകദൈവമായ നീ മൂന്ന് വിശദാനുമാകളായി അറിയപ്പെടുന്നു ശ്രേഷ്ഠമായ ഏക സ്വഭാവത്തോടും സാരാംശത്തോടും അനാദ്യമായ ഏക സ്വഭാവത്തോടും കൂടി പിതാവുത്രൻ പരിശുദ്ധരുക എന്ന മൂന്ന് പൂർണ്ണങ്ങളുമാകളടങ്ങിയ പരിപൂർണത്വമായ സത്യേകതയും നീയാകുന്നു പിതാവായ ദൈവം ഏതിന്റെ സ്വരൂപത്തിൽ സൃഷ്ടിക്കപ്പെടുന്നവനും നിന്റെ സ്വതന്ത്ര ബുദ്ധി മൂലം പിശാജ ആരാധനയിലേക്ക് വശീകരിക്കപ്പെട്ടു പോയവനുമായ മനുഷ്യനെ നവീകരിക്കുവാൻ നിനക്ക് ദുരുവിഷ്ടം തോന്നിയിട്ട് ഞങ്ങളുടെ മനുഷ്യവർഗത്തിന് വേണ്ടി നിന്റെ വചനമായ പുത്രനെ നീ കൽപ്പിച്ചു അവൻ വ്യത്യാസം കൂടാതെ മനുഷ്യനായി തീർന്ന ദൈവത്വത്തിന്റെ വ്യാഖ്യാന ഇതാവസ്ഥയെ വിശദമായി ഞങ്ങളെ അറിയിച്ച് വ്യാഖ്യാനിച്ചു തരികയും നിന്നെ നിന്നിൽ നിന്നുള്ളതായ പിതാവിനെയും പുത്രനെയും എന്നതിനെ ഞങ്ങൾ ഗ്രഹിക്കുവാൻ തക്കവണ്ണം നിന്റെ ജ്ഞാനത്തിന്റെ ദുർഗ്രഹങ്ങളും രഹസ്യങ്ങളുമായ സംഗതികൾ ഞങ്ങളെ അറിയിക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു ദൈവത്വത്തിലെ മൂന്നാമത്തെ പ്രകാശത്തെ കുറിച്ച് അവൻ ഞങ്ങളെ പഠിപ്പിച്ചു അത് പരിശുദ്രൂഹ എന്ന ഗ്നൂമായകുന്നു പിതാവേ നിന്നിൽ നിന്ന് വ്യാഖ്യാനരിതമായ നിലയിൽ പുറപ്പെടുന്നു അവനും സത്യറൂഹായകുന്നു ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കുന്ന റൂഹായകുന്നു രാജകീയ റൂഹായി ഉത്തമന് ജ്ഞാനത്തിന്റെയും പരാക്രമത്തിന്റെയും അറിവിന്റെയും പൂർത്തീകരിക്കുന്ന റൂഹായും നിറവേറ്റുന്ന റൂഹായും ആകുന്നു റൂഹാ വിഭാജനും സംഖ്യാതീതനും മനുഷ്യരെ സ്നേഹിക്കുന്നവരുമാകുന്നു റൂഹാ സ്ത്രീകന്മാർക്ക് ജ്ഞാനം നൽകുകയും സഹദയന്മാർക്ക് ബലം നൽകുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു റൂഹാ മൽപാന്മാരെ നയിക്കുകയും നന്മകൾ പ്രവർത്തിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു റൂഹാ ബലവാനും സൃഷ്ടിക്കനും പ്രകൃതി നിർമ്മലനും വിവിധതരം വ്യാപാരങ്ങളോട് കൂടിയവനും ദിവ്യദാനങ്ങളുടെ ഉറവിടവുമാകുന്നു സാരാംശനോട് നിന്റെ ജാതനോട് ഒന്നായിരിക്കുന്നവനാകുന്നു അവൻ ന്യായ പ്രമാണവും ദീർഘദർശിമാരും സ്ത്രീകന്മാരും വഴിയാ സംസാരിച്ചു അവൻ സബലത്തിലും സമീപസ്ഥനും സകലത്തെയും പൂർണ്ണമാക്കുന്നവരുമാകുന്നു അവൻ ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്നവരിൽ ദാസനെ പോലെയല്ല അധികാരികളെ പോലെ വിശുദ്ധ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യുന്നു വിശുദ്ധ സ്ലീകന്മാർ അവൻ ആവശ്യതായ ശ്രേഷ്ഠമായ ബന്ധിക്കോസ് പെരുന്നാൾ ദിവസത്തിൽ അവൻ മുഖാതരം ഞങ്ങൾ നിന്നോട് അപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നു നിന്റെ ദാസനും ആരാധകരുമായ ഞങ്ങളിലും അവൻ വന്ന അവസിക്കുമാറാകണമേ അവന്റെ വിശുദ്ധ നൽവരങ്ങളാൽ ഞങ്ങളെ നിറക്കണമേ സകല പാപ ദൗർബല്യവും ഞങ്ങൾ നീക്കളയണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ നിന്റെ തിരുനിവാസ നിർമ്മല മന്ദിരങ്ങളും ഭവനങ്ങളുമായി നയിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങളെ ശത്രുക്കളുടെ ഉഗ്രതയ്ക്ക് കീഴ്പ്പെടാത്തവരായി തീരണമേ വിശുദ്ധ സഭയുടെ മക്കൾ എന്ന നിലയിൽ സകല വിശ്വാസികളായ പരേതർക്കും പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് സത്യവിശ്വാസം ഞങ്ങളോടുകൂടെ ജീവിതം അവസാനിപ്പിച്ചവരായ ഞങ്ങളുടെ മാതാപിതാക്കന്മാർക്കും സഹോദരി സഹോദരങ്ങൾക്കും ഇടയന്മാർക്കും പിതാക്കന്മാർക്കും നല്ല ഓർമ്മയും സന്തോഷകരമായ ആശ്വാസവും നൽകണമേ എന്നാൽ സർവാധിപതിയായ പിതാവാന്തിയുമേ നീ സകലത്തെയും ജീവിക്കുന്നവനാകുന്നു നിന്റെ ഏകജാതനോടും സകലത്തിലും ഭാഗ്യവാനും വന്നിനും ജീവദായകനും സാരാംശ നിനക്ക് സമനുമായ നിന്റെ റുഹായിട്ടും കൂടെ ഇപ്പോഴും ഇല്ല ഇപ്പോഴും നീക്കും ഞങ്ങളുടെ മേൽ വാണുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നുവല്ലോ ഹോശോ 
وبقول سبحان للمن بارك وور من نال ابن قابل و سيد قابل و شكون دا تو هي بطراي اون والمل و لم والمن sanctified his holy apostles by his holy descent when he rested upon them in the likeness of fiery tongues sanctify by your holy spirit the censer which we offer in your presence grant to us thereby remission of debts and the forgiveness of sins cleanse our hearts from all iniquity by continually visiting us with your mercies We praise you, worship you and glorify you with your holy begotten son and your holy spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Listen to the prophets who like channels of refined gold pour forth life from their mouths to the ears of the who listen listen to the apostles 
apostles who like trumpets cry aloud, light and life and the kingdom have been prepared and preserved for all those who obey the glad tidings of the gospel. The reading is from the first book of Moses, Barak Mor. Glory to the, the Lord of creation, and may his mercy be upon us forever. Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 through 9. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, and they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest, be, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now nothing what they had proposed to do with will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore, it, its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the people and all the earth. And from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. This is the genealogy of Shem. Shem was 100 years old and begot Aphrasad, two years after the flood. Barak Mor. The readings from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Barak Mor. Glory be to the Lord of the Apostles, and may his mercy be upon us forever. My beloved, and it happened while Apollos was at Corinth that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus. And finding some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they said to him, We have not so much as heard what there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, Into what then were you baptized? So they said, Into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid, out, laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Now the men were about twelve in all. Barakmor. Barakmor, the lesson from St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Barakmor. Glory be to the Lord of the Apostle, and may his mercy be upon us forever. Ahai, brethren, do not be children in understanding, however in malice be babes, but in understanding be mature. In the law it is written, with men of other tongues and other lips, I will speak to this people. And, at, and yet for all that, they will not hear me, says the Lord. Therefore tongues are for a sign not to those who believe, but to the unbelievers. But prophesying is not for unbelievers, but for those who believe. Therefore, if the whole church comes together in one place, and all speak with tongues, and there come in those who are uninformed or unbelievers, Will they not say to that you are out of your mind? But if all prophecy and unbeliever or an uninformed person comes in, he is convinced by all, he is convicted by all. And thus the secrets of his heart are revealed. And so falling down on his face, he will worship God and report that God is truly among you. Barak Mor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Namun pun bagai way ke pernah, namun kita tahu bahawa Yesus masih ada di bawah daya ini kejadian ini. Dewa itu ni, jiwa na wajan na rupa ni nam kelakaran. Barokmu, peace be with you. May the Lord God make us worthy with your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the life-giving proclamation from Saint John the Apostle. Who proclaims the life and salvation to the world? Blessed is he who has come and is to come. Glory be to him who sent him for our salvation and may his mercy be upon us all forever. Now, in the time of the incarnation of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the life giving word of God. Who was incarnate of the Holy Virgin Mary? These things thus come to pass in this manner. We believe and confess. Gospel according to Saint John, chapter fourteen, verse one through seventeen. Ningal da khudeyam chanjali kirda. Ningal deiva thali visusipin, enilum visusipin. Yang lebih dah, yang lebih banyak dilihat ni, yang kami wasi dengan orang. Ia yang kami jangan dengan orang itu berayun mai iru. Nih kami setelan daya rakuman berindi yang guna ni yang pukul nada. Ni yang boleh al, nih kami kaya setelan daya rakim, ni yang iri ke nada. Nih kami iri ke mana berindi, ni yang berindu mana nih kami kote kondo bogi inci. Ni yang ni berapa pukul nih kami nih kami arayam. Wadiyum nih kami arayam. Apabila Thomas Liga es nampi orang orang. Kartavi yang ayah udah ke agun tu bohong nado, yang ni jangal karanya ku da. Pini wani hari iwan, yang ni saadikum yang tu coidicum. Yesu awi noda, wadiyum, satyum, jiwanim yana agun. Yang ni ku de allah ada, uriwanim pidawin dia dekul yatu gak illa. Ninggal ni hari ni rendu engkel, yang de pidawin ayu hari iu mai rendu. I pol mudal ninggal ni de pidawin hari iu rendu. Pidawa ini nengal kahwin ke inci diri kuno, yang mana baranya? Pilipos esdom binaan orang. Kertawa pidawa ini nengal kahwin sendiri nami, adam nengal kumadi yang mana baranya? Yesu abin orang ini prakarya baranya. Pilipos ini, ni itrim kalam, yang noda kude undai iran tertum, ni yang ne aranji leyo. Yang ne kahwin dengan, yang ne ayat se, yang pidawa ini kandang kerjanya. Pinne pidawa ini kahwin sendiri nami, yang ni parayu yang mana? Nyan pidawa ini pidawa ini lulus di ini nuye nanti ngal bisu sih kene leyo. Nyan setiwa ini setiwa ini ngal orang berai ini nu. Yen lulus bisu sih kuno ini. Nyan cehi na pravarti kene cehi. Nyan ini pidawa ini ada kelih kipu no tu bandar abel kurud lai itu lah dengan nyan cehi. Aban cehi. Yen na amu tu nengal nyan cik kena dene pidawa ini tanda putan mulem makimu yulah nai tiruan nai itu nyan nengal ke sahaja ceram. Yen na amu tu nengal nuud nyan cik cial. Nyalah itu, nengal ke sahaja itu. Nengal yang nyesnei itu, nengal yang de kalpana kalai ajari kwin. Nyalah yang de bidah ini orang beri cik kiri. Adikam ini kim, nengal orang gua ini pun tak kawan nam. Macam tu, asma sadada ini aich sedari gayin cik. Awan sahaja suruh ini ayat mawa agunu. Logat ini awan esigiri pun sahaja kila. Entah nala logam awan ini kandit tu mila, aranjit tu mila. Entah nala awan nengal de adikil wasi kiri. Ninggal sedih ini je, nado kanda. Ninggal, ninggalal arie putih ini je. Barakmu, slow mo shayno, lakulku. But if more, let us all stand well with diligence and with voices pleasing to God, responding Kuriela iso. Kuriela iso. Who grant unto us that we stand upright to pray on the holy day of Pentecost and on on Sunday, so that in the light and the life which abide forever, we may be of the good cheer and spiritual deeds. We beseech you. O oh Lord, who by your resurrection pleasing unto God raised us all who had fallen on the ground because of the transgression of our father Adam. The head of our race, we beseech you. Pray, 
soul. We who through idolatry had become worshippers of the adversary, and through the acknowledgement of the Holy Trinity, have been made true worshippers by you, who are of the one Holy Trinity, we beseech you. Let us beseech the Lord and kneel down. Subdue us from continually, subdue from us continually, and bring to an end all the desires of the old man. Make us a newly born creation which is renewed every day, so that we may offer to you glory with your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of our fathers, glorious and exalted forever. At the sound of the instruments of music, the nations fell down and worshipped the graven image. Now the grace of the Comforter Spirit exhorts us 
to worship and bring to the one triune God, who is equal in power, without beginning, and is blessed forever. Bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. Praise and exalt him forever. In his saving commands, Christ declared to his chosen and unblemished apostles, the Holy Spirit, the all-blessed, will abide and rest upon each of you in the likeness of fiery tongues, through whom the creation that was made cries out, Glory to you, Baruch Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and to the ages of ages and forevermore. Glorious are the mouths of the prophets, inspired by the Spirit, who proclaim your coming in the flesh, O King, and who proclaim the coming of the Spirit from the fatherly bosom, who is uncreated and is equal to you in dominion and creative power. With the prophets, we the faithful worship you in fear. Summon God. Let us all pray and beseech the Lord for mercy and compassion. O merciful Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Glory and thanksgiving, praise, adoration, and seize the exaltation truly at all times and all hours. May we ascribe unto you, O Lord. Let us offer unceasing praise, prostrate adoration, and continual thanksgiving to the Son of Righteousness and the incomprehensible brilliance whose dazzling glory glittered in the upper room, thus assuring the thoughts of the twelve ignorant apostles as he divided the tongues among the unlearned twelve, so that they might speak with one harmony. He breathed on them, and they received the Comforter Spirit. He granted them wisdom and said to them, Go to the four quarters of the world and preach the true faith to the nations and turn the creation away from straying towards one accord of the true faith. To him be glory, honor, and dominion at this time of the celebration of Pentecost, and at all festivals, times, hours, seasons, and all the days of our life. Bukuluhun yomoso the high and level me. Christ our God, the enlightening brilliance of the conceptual light, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit is majestically blessed and sanctified by the heavenly host, who wish to come down to us and associate himself with us. Therefore he accepted upon himself to be born in the flesh of the Virgin Mary, in order to fulfill all the things by which we were redeemed, namely birth, baptism, crucifixion, death, and resurrection. When he determined to ascend to his Father, he gathered his apostles in the Mount of Olives, and by laying on them his holy hands, he blessed them and granted them the abundant priestly gifts. <clears throat> he breathed on them the Holy Spirit, saying, Remain in Jerusalem until I send you the Holy Spirit from my Father, and he will enlighten you and grant you the wisdom of his abundant gifts. But if I do not go away, the Comforter will not come to you. When he had assured his disciples of these promises, he ascended to heaven with a shout of joy and sat gloriously on the throne of his Father's right hand. And when the day of Pentecost was fulfilled, suddenly the Holy Spirit descended upon them. He bestowed on them divine gifts, adorned them with divine wisdom, enlightened them with spiritual doctrines, and enriched them with tongues of all the nations. Today the unbelieving Jews stood in mourning <clears throat> when they beheld that those who were ignorant had become teachers of wisdom and were proven perfectors of the holy and divine sacraments. Today the holy apostles drink of the new divine wine from the gift of the Spirit who is the holy and life-giving. <clears throat> Therefore, provoked by jealousy, the word went out from the Jews, saying, These men are full of wine and are drunk. Today, Simon Peter leaves for joy, Andrew the son of Zebedee, and the rest of the holy apostles are exceedingly happy. And rejoice as they stand beholding that what was promised by the only begotten has been fulfilled indeed. <coughs> 
Today, by the descent of the Comforter, the upper room has become a second Babylon, not as a punishment as it was in the confusion of the tongues, as in the first, but rather by the power of the Holy Spirit. It has been enlightened by the light of grace, so that the apostles might become wise for the preachings of the truth. Today Iscari was put to shame when he saw the holy apostles, his friends, to have been changed by the enlightenment of their minds and the intellects with the divine light of the heavenly mysteries. Even now we beseech your ineffable loving kindness, O Lord, on this day of Pentecost, to pour upon us the grace of your holy and life-giving Spirit, that we may be cleansed by him from the thorny growths of sin. Make us worthy to offer you the spiritual fruits of virtue, faith, hope, and true love. Bestow upon your holy church peace and tranquility that proceeds from you. Visit, O Lord, by your mercies the sick, the oppressed, as well as those who have asked and are asking the prayers of our humble selves. By your loving kindness grant rest and make good commemoration of our parents, brethren, teachers, and all our faithful departed. Together with them we offer glory and thanksgiving to you and to your Father and to your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. From God may we receive the remission of debts and the forgiveness of sins in both worlds forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Lord, on this day of Pentecost, the festival of the seven weeks, the Comforter in the likeness of fire descended on the Lord's apostles, perfecting them in the true faith, hope, and love. And from that room they went out to preach. Hallelujah! They sought out the lost peoples who went astray and showed them the way. Oh, Lord, our Lord, on the day of your ascension, you promised to the twelve saying, I am going to the Father who shall send the Comforter who will confirm you. He will teach you holy and hidden mysteries, and he will arm you again, Satan. Hallelujah! You will turn the Gentiles from error to the true orthodox faith. Seven weeks we beseech you to pour upon us your gift, the life giving holy paraclete. Grant us this gift that we may gain strength over the Hallelujah, we glorify.
by and worship the great mystery of the Trinity. Men ulam wa ulam apostles, O authors of the faith and builders of the holy church of God, by the wine of the living spirit you became the light to all those in darkness. You taught and preached the glorious Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, who is our one essence in three persons, one divinity. ഞങ്ങൾ <laughs> മൂന്ന് ഗ്നോമാകളെ വെടിപ്പോട് കൂടെ ഞങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പോഴും എല്ലായ്പ്പോഴും നയിക്കും വന്നിച്ച് പൊഴുത്തപ്പെടുകയും ചെയ്യുവാനിടയാകണമേ unto the four quarters of the earth, Lord, by your abundant grace, I enter into your house, and in your holy temple, we worship From the prophet Joel Barak Mar. Glory, Glory be to the Lord of the prophet and may his mercy be upon us forever. Joel chapter 2 yeah. verses 25 to 32. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locusts had eaten, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts, and the chewing locusts. My great army which I sent among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dwelt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit in those days and I'll show wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood and fire and pillars of smoke the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord and it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved and in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance as the Lord has said among the revenant whom the Lord calls. Barak Mor. The reading is from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Barak Mor. Glory be to the Lord the Apostles, and may His mercy be upon us forever. My beloved, and he went into the synagogue and spoke boldly for three months, reasoning and persuading concerning the things of the kingdom of God. But when some were hardened and did not believe, but spoke evil of the way before the multitude, he departed from them and withdrew the disciples, reasoning daily in the school of Tyrannus. And this continued for two years, so that all who dwelt in Asia 
heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. Now God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul, so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick, and the diseases left them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Barakmore. The reading is from the first epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians, Barakmore. Glory be to Lord the Apostle, and may his mercy be upon us forever. Ha ah, hi, how is it then, brethren? Whenever you come together, each of you has a psalm, has a teaching, has a tongue, has a revelation, has an interpretation. Let, let all things be done for edification. If anyone speaks in a tongue, let there be two or at the most three each in turn, and let one interpret. But if there is no interpreter, let him keep silent in church, and let him speak to himself and to God. Let two or three prophets speak, and let the others judge. But if anything is revealed to another who sits by, let him first keep silent. For you can all be prophesy one by one, that all may learn and all may be encouraged. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, Barak more. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. stillness, fear, and purity. Let us attend and listen to the good news of the living words of God in the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that is read to us. Baruch Amor, peace be with you all. May the Lord make us worthy with your spirit. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the life-giving proclamation from John the Apostle, who proclaims life and salvation to the world? Blessed is he who has come and is to come. Glory be to him who sends him for our salvation. And may his mercy be upon us all forever. Now in the time of the ascension of our Lord and our God and Savior Jesus Christ, the living Word of God who is incarnate the Holy Virgin Mary, these things had come to pass in this manner. We believe and confess. You call me teacher and Lord, and you say, Well, for I am so. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash the feet of one another. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is no greater than his master, nor is he who sent greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. I do not speak concerning all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He who eats bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you before it comes, that when it does come to pass, you may believe that I am he. Most assuredly I say to you, he who receives, whomever I send receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. When Jesus had said these things, he was troubled in spirit, and testified and said, Most assuredly I say to you, one of you will betray me. Then the disciples looked at one another, perplexed about whom he spoke. Now, when there, were, now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom, one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter therefore mentioned to him to ask him it was of whom he spoke. Barak Mor, peace be with you all. Barak Mor, let us all stand well with diligence and with voices pleasing to God, respond saying, Gurie Naiso. Baruch Moore, Christ our God, who ahead of time revealed yourself and became known to the Father, and prophets of ancient times in a mysterious and obscure way, 
And in these days you made yourself manifest the apostles in a luminous and ineffable manner. We beseech you. O Christ our God, who before times and seasons were born in an unutterable fashion of the Father's infinite bosom, and who by the descent of the Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and takes from you, have divinely enlightened your holy apostles with your gift. Make us your servants also worthy of the richness of your divine gifts. We beseech you. Christ our God, who promised to send the Comforter of Spirit to your holy apostles, and today you fulfilled your promise to them. Even at this hour of the Pentecostal festival, we pray you to make us worthy of receiving your Holy Spirit. We beseech you. Christ our God, who taught us that when we gather together on the days of Pentecost and on Holy Sundays to offer prayer standing upright, not only because you raised us from the fall of sin by your God-pleasing resurrection, but also because Sunday and Pentecost is the image of this coming world. Make us worthy by our worship that on this holy day in which you perfected your holy apostles by the gift of your Holy Spirit, to be enriched with the same divine gifts and to conquer our spiritual as well as our sensual enemies, we beseech you, saying, Kuriya Lai Son, three times. Kuriya Lai Son, Kuriya Lai Son, Kuriya Lai Son. Let us beseech the Lord and kneel down. Lord, have mercy. Sing. 
Sing with the great psalmist, the King and Prophet David. They are bound down and fallen, but we are risen and stand when in the likeness of our the Holy Spirit appears we kneel down befittingly as we cannot enter his be upon us, weak and sinful, in both worlds, forever and ever. Amen. Barakumur, I've been now going to do what Louis is leaking, my mind, he was sitting on an idea, my Yanatan, I was a brother, I was a brother, I was a brother, I was a Young Lassam is in the name, the Iron Never Put in the Abida, the Iron Never Cupid in the Aputan, the University of Brandy Academy. Hosio Bukulisuba, Lul Min Kurela, I saw in Barak Moore. Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, because he has looked upon the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from all henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed, because he who has mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from generation to generation on those who fear Him. Peace, Peace be to you, you O Queen and Mother, the glory of all the virgins. Eloquent tongues and praising mouths are all incapable of describing your virtues and giving you due praise. All minds are too dazzled to comprehend your ineffable conception. On this account, we all eagerly extol you, my Lord. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. He has won victory with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He has given help to Israel, his servant mindful of his mercy, even as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Let us all who have been inspired by the divine grace, shining and glittering like the sun, accept its splendor like a cleansed robe. Therefore we the faithful, rejoicing offer glory to him, who is equal in power and wisdom, the indivisible nature and the triune radiance. Salman Kano. Nesalikulan Romeo, no Numen Maria, no me, now Ludum Bratis. Cartavan or an agreeing, longer name Yajikinum, Cartavan, Yamrod, 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 other Sinai without the Rapid Game and the Nai Buddha, the Rapid Ganji in the Venom, Magrik in the land of the Mahashi, the Albot Ganji in the Venom. A victim Laya, Pavigarin Layadi, Alta Dergasimara, Mugandrem, Samsari Chuanum. Silly and Mali Lagna will do with the Mishi, the Uruguay, our Indiana Tilum, Viveka Tilimberi, Bunaraki. Our Mugandra and the Shingla, and they go to Sangatil Lausana, Garth, the Villiput, the Nuagarta, and the Sudan. We should the Ruhaya and the Deo Maikartavi. Then he came and he goes to Birinal and the Munam, says Ruja Burti Kibrai Samitan, Sagal Birinal and the Langal and the Samingalam. A ding and the Aishka, the Murunus, the Mara, the near Pikate, Bukulunia, Mosadaya, Lulmin. Parakalita, Yaya, the Umbalikalashi, the Rikinavan and Sagalandi, Vigis Rujakalam Burti, Rikinavan, 
അവൻ ആചാരം നൽകുന്നവനും ആ മോദിസായെ പരിപൂർണമാക്കുന്നവനും കൂതാശങ്ങളെ വിശദീകരിക്കുന്നവനും പാവങ്ങളെ പരിഹരിക്കുന്നവനുമാകുന്നു റൂഹ ആഴിമേറിയ കാര്യങ്ങൾ പരിശോധിക്കുന്നവൻ എന്നീ കൂടെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ സംസാരിക്കുന്നവനും ഭാവസംഗതികൾ അറിയിക്കുന്നവൻ അത്ഭുത പ്രവർത്തികൾ പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്നവനുമാകുന്നു വിശുദ്ധ റൂഹ എടുക്കപ്പെടുന്നവനാകുന്നു എടുക്കുന്നവനാകുന്നു എടുക്കപ്പെടുന്നവനല്ല അവൻ പൂർത്തീകരിക്കുന്നവനാകുന്നു പൂർത്തീകരിക്കപ്പെടുന്നവനല്ല സംസാരിക്കുന്നവനാകുന്നു സംസാരിക്കപ്പെടുന്നവനല്ല ശുദ്ധീകരിക്കുന്നവനാകുന്നു ശുദ്ധീകരിക്കപ്പെടുന്നവനല്ല ദൈവമാകുന്നവനാകുന്നു ദൈവമാക്കുന്നവനാകുന്നു ദൈവമാക്കപ്പെടുന്നവനല്ല റൂഹ സ്വയമായ ചിലയ്ക്കുകയും സ്വയമായ അധികാരമുള്ളവനുമാകുന്നു സശക്തിയാൽ ബലവാനും സ്വന്തം മഹത്വത്തിൽ മകനീനും സ്വന്തം പ്രാബല്യത്തിൽ പ്രാബല്യമാകുന്നു റൂഹ പ്രകാശവും പ്രകാശദാതാവുമാകുന്നു റൂപ കൃപാലും കൃപയുടെ ഉറവിടവുമാകുന്നു റൂഹ നേരുള്ളവനും തലവനുമാകുന്നു റൂഹ കർത്താവാകുന്നു റൂഹ പുത്ര സ്വീകാര പുത്ര സ്വീകാരത്തിൻ്റെതാകുന്നു റൂഹ സത്യവാനും ജ്ഞാനിയുമാകുന്നു റൂഹ വിവേകിയും അറിയുള്ളവനുമാകുന്നു റൂഹ ദേവ നൽകുന്നു റൂഹ തനിക്കായ ആലയങ്ങൾ നിർമ്മിക്കുന്നു റൂഹ മാർഗദർശിയാകുന്നു റൂഹ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നതെല്ലാം പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്നവനും എന്നാൽ യോഗ്യമായ വിധത്തിൽ മാത്രം ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നവനുമാകുന്നു റൂഹ എല്ലാവർക്കും നൽവരങ്ങൾ ലഭിച്ചു കൊടുക്കുന്നവരാകുന്നു റൂഹ ആശ്വാസകനാകുന്നു റൂഹ രാജകീയനും പരാക്രമിയാകുന്നു റൂഹ പരിപൂർണ നൽകുന്നവനും റൂഹ തയ്ക്കുന്നവനുമാകുന്നു റൂഹ അവിഭാജനും അപരിമിതയനുമാകുന്നു റൂഹ മനുഷ്യനേകമുള്ളവനാകുന്നു റൂഹ ദീർഘർഷിമാരെ പരിപൂർണരാക്കുന്നു റൂഹ ദീർഘർഷിമാർക്ക് പരിപൂർണ നൽകുന്നു റൂഹ സഹദന്മാരെ സന്നദ്ധരാകുന്നു ദേവാലയങ്ങളെ അലങ്കരിക്കുന്നു ഉപദേഷ്ടാക്കൾക്ക് ദിവ്യജ്ഞാനം നൽകുന്നു റൂഹാപരമാർത്ഥികൾക്ക് ജ്ഞാനം നൽകുകയും നന്മകൾ പ്രവർത്തിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു റൂഹ സർവശക്തനാകുന്നു റൂഹ മുഖാന്തരം പിതാവ് അറിയപ്പെടുന്നു റൂഹ മുഖാന്തരം പുത്രൻ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു റൂഹ മാത്രം പിതാവിനോടും പുത്രനോടും വന്ദിക്കപ്പെടുന്നു റൂഹായ്ക്ക് ജനകത്വം ഒഴികെ പിതാവിനുള്ള സകലവും ഉണ്ട് റൂഹായ്ക്ക് ജനവും ജഡതാരം ഒഴികെ പുത്രനുള്ളതെല്ലാം ഉണ്ട് റൂഹ പിതാവിനേക്കാൾ കുറവില്ലാത്ത അനാദ്യന്തരാകുന്നു റൂഹ പുത്രനേക്കാൾ ചെറുപ്പമല്ലാത്ത സ്വയം പോവാകുന്നു റൂഹ പിതാവിനേക്കാൾ പൂർവികനോ പുത്രനേക്കാൾ പ്രായം കൂടിയവനോ അല്ലാത്ത നിത്യനാകുന്നു പാർഗലിത്ത റൂഹായ ദൈവമായ ഈ സുഖദൂപത്തോടും ഇതിനോട് ഞങ്ങൾ അപേക്ഷിക്കുകയും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇപ്പോൾ എന്റെ ദൈവീയ നല്ലവരങ്ങൾ ഞങ്ങൾ നവീകരിക്കണമേ മാളികയിൽ വെച്ച് സ്ലിയന്മാൽ എന്ന വിധം ഞങ്ങൾ ആവശ്യിക്കണമേ നിന്റെ സ്വർഗീയ നൽവരങ്ങൾ ഞങ്ങൾ വിവരിച്ചു നൽകണമേ നിന്റെ ദിവ്യജ്ഞാനവും നിന്റെ ദിവ്യ ഉപദേശങ്ങളോട് ഞങ്ങൾ നിറയ്ക്കേണ്ടമേ തിരുനിവാസത്തിനാലയങ്ങളാക്കി ഞങ്ങളെ നീ പൂർത്തീകരിക്കണമേ എല്ലാവരും ചുരിയപ്പെട്ടിരിക്കുന്ന നിന്റെ കൃപയാകുന്ന പാനീയത്താൽ ഞങ്ങൾ ഉന്മത്തരാകണമേ നിന്റെ ദാനങ്ങളാകുന്ന വിശിഷ്ട ദനങ്ങളാൽ ഞങ്ങളെ ധനവാന്മാരാക്കണമേ നിന്റെ കിരണകാന്തിയാൽ ഞങ്ങളെ പ്രകാശിപ്പിക്കുകയും ലോകത്തിൽ നിന്ന് കഠിനതരം വ്യം രോഗങ്ങളും പരീക്ഷകളും ശിക്ഷകളും ഒഴിവാക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ നിനക്ക് വേണ്ടി ജീവിച്ചു നിനക്ക് വേണ്ടി താല്പര്യം അവസാനിക്കുവാൻ ഞങ്ങൾ കൃപ നൽകണമേ പാർക്കലിത്താറോഹായ ദൈവമേ ഞങ്ങൾ വെടിപ്പോടും വിശുദ്ധിയോടും കൂടെ നിന്നെ നീ മുഖാന്തിന്റെ കൂടെ നിന്റെ പിതാവിനോടും നീ ആരിൽ നിന്ന് പുറപ്പെടുന്നു ആ ദൃശ്യനായ പിതാവിനെയും നീ ആരിൽ നിന്ന് എടുക്കപ്പെടുന്നു വന്നിനായ പുത്രനെ ഇപ്പോഴും എല്ലായ്പ്പോഴും നീക്കും വന്നിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുവാനിടയാകണമേ ഹോശോ ോവിരേ <laughs> <laughs> Lord's promise 
From the heights the Spirit came to them like tongues of fire, and their minds were enlightened, making them full of wisdom. They went out to the world to fight against error, but I go. Shula bola proval roho kadisho. The comforter came down to the innocent disciples. He taught them the mystery in the tongues of all nations. He gave them authority to forgive sins and heal all in the name of the Father, Son, and the on this holy day when the hidden mysteries were fulfilled the spirit came down to the upper room like tongues of fire he filled the apostles with his wisdom, power, and help. The Comforter gave them the gifts of all virtue. Barakamu, O Lord our God, the Comforter, Holy Spirit, who in the likeness of fiery tongues descended upon the holy apostles and filled them with divine gifts. Fill us by your grace with power, wisdom, and holiness from you by the smoke of incense which we offer unto you. Make us and prove us to be worthy of the richness of your gifts. We offer glory and thanksgiving simultaneously to your Father from whom you proceed and to your only begotten our Lord Jesus Christ by whom you are known now and always and forever. Amen. Holiness becomes your house, O Lord, unto the ages. The Lord reigns and He is clothed with majesty and with strength. The reading is from the fourth book of the fourth book of Moses, Barak Mar. Glory be to the Lord of the creation, the and may his mercy be upon us forever. Numbers chapter eleven, verses sixteen to thirty-five. So the Lord said to Moses, Gather to me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people and officers over them. Bring them to the tabernacle of meeting that they may stand there with you. Then I will come down and talk with you there. I will take of the spirit that is upon you and will put the same upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with you that you may not bear it yourself alone. Then you shall say to the people, Consecrate yourself for tomorrow, and you shall, not eat, you shall eat meat, for you have wept in the hearing of the Lord, saying, Who will give us meat to eat? For it was all well with us in Egypt. Therefore the Lord will give you meat, and you shall eat. You shall eat not one day, nor two days, nor five days, nor ten days, nor twenty days, but for a whole month, until it comes out of your nostrils and becomes loathsome for you. Because you have despised the Lord who is among you, and you have wept before him, saying, Why did we ever come out of Egypt? And Moses said, The people whom I am among are six hundred thousand men on foot. Yet you have said, I will give them meat, and they will eat for a month. Shall flocks and herds be slaughtered for them to provide enough for them, 
Or shall all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them to provide enough for them? And the Lord said to Moses, Has the Lord's arm been shortened? Now you shall see whether what I say will happen to you or not. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and he gathered the seventy men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tabernacle. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took the spirit that was upon him and placed the same upon the seventy elders. And it happened when the spirit rested upon them that they prophesied all, although they never did so again. But two men had remained in the camp, the name of one was Aldad, and this name of the other was Madad. And the Spirit rested upon them. Now they were among those listed, but those who had not gone out to the tabernacle. Yet they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses and said, Aldad and Madad are prophesying in the camp. So Joshua the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, one of the, cho the chosen men, answered and said, Moses, my Lord, forbid them. Then Moses said to him, Are you zealous for my sake? Oh that, oh, that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord will put his spirit upon them. And Moses returned to the camp, both he and the elders of Israel. Now a wind went out of the, from about the Lord, and it brought about a quail from the sea, and left them fluttering near the camp, about a day's journey on this side, and about a day's journey on the other side all around the camp, and about two cubits about the surface of the ground. And the people stayed up all that day and all night, and all the next day, and gathered the quill. He who gathered these gathered ten homers, and they spread them out on for themselves all over the camp. But while the meat was still between their teeth, before it was chewed, and the wrath of the Lord was aroused against the people, and the Lord struck the people with a very great plague. So he called the name of that place Kibrat Hatava, because there were buried the people who had yielded to craving. From Kibrat Hatava, the people moved to Hazaroth and camped at Hazaroth. Barak Mor. The reading is from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Barak Mor. Glory be to Lord of the Apostles, and may his mercy be upon us forever. My beloved, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, and they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused, because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Then they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Look, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how is it that we hear each in our own language, in which we were born? Parthians and Medes, Elamites, those dwelling in Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya adjoining Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them speaking in our own tongues, the wonderful works of God. So they were all amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, Whatever could this mean? Others, mocked, others mocking, mockingly said, They are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, raised his voice and said to them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and heed my words. For these are not drunk as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy. I will show wonders above, in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
Baruch Moore. The reading is from the first epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Baruch Moore. Glory be to the Lord of the Apostle, and may his mercy be upon us forever. My brethren, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you are Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols, however you are led. Therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed. And no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works in all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Holy Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one Spirit. Barak Mor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. stillness, fear, and purity, let us attend and listen to the good news of the living words of God in the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that is read to us. Baruch Mo, peace be with you all. May the Lord God make us worthy with your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the life-giving proclamation from St. John the Apostle, who preaches the good news of life and salvation to the world. Blessed is he who has come and is to come. Glory be to him who sent him for our salvation, and may his mercy be upon us all forever. Now, in the absence of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the life-giving Word of God, who was incarnate of the Holy Virgin Mary, these things thus come to pass in this manner. We believe and confess. Gospel according to St. John, chapter 14. Verse 25 through 27. Nyan Ningal orders the Dijay the Wonder. Idagal Ningal order Balanirikino. Pida in the Nam with the Lake in the Marisha Nava Nashuasanada. Sagalum Ningalay Padipikim. Nyan Ningal order Parina Sagalum and Warm for the Gingim. Nyan Ningal Kai Samadhanam. In the Samadan and Yan Nagadarino, Yan did not Samadan Lord in Nagapur and the Bolella Ningle Lagre and Jajiliki, the Miki Madu, Yan Alpidra Sandil and the Yan Muad Ningle Kaya, I keep it in Asia was Dada Yen the Pida Wingle and the Propertanasa to Suruban Ayad Mawana Yen Negroja Sachinalgum. I remember the Leno in order to go to the Yena Ningal Sashikalano Ningal Vishu the Ragu and Vindiana Iveokim Yan Ningal order Parayanadam 
അവർ നിങ്ങളെ സംഘത്തിൽ നിന്ന് ബഹിഷ്കരിക്കുകയും ഓരോരുത്തരും നിങ്ങളെ വിധിക്കുന്നത് ദൈവത്തിന് വഴിപാടായി അർപ്പിക്കുകയാകുന്നു എന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ഘട്ടവും വരും അവർ എന്റെ പിതാവിനെയാകട്ടെ എന്നെയാകട്ടെ അറിഞ്ഞില്ലാത്തത് കൊണ്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ പ്രവർത്തിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യും ആ സമയം സമാഗതമാകുമ്പോൾ ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളോട് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ളതാണ് എന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ ഓർമ്മിക്കുവാൻ വേണ്ടി ഇവയൊക്കെ ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളോട് പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നു ഇത് മുമ്പേ നിങ്ങളോട് പറയാതിരുന്നത് ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളോട് കൂടെ തന്നെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നത് കൊണ്ടാണ് ഇപ്പോഴാകട്ടെ ഞാൻ എന്നെ അയച്ചവന്റെ അടുക്കിലേക്ക് പോകുന്നു എവിടേക്ക് പോകുന്നു എന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ ഒരുവനും എന്നോട് ചോദിക്കുന്നില്ല ഈ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞത് കൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ഹൃദയം ദുഃഖം കൊണ്ട് നിറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നു ഞാൻ സത്യം നിങ്ങളോട് പറയുന്നു ഞാൻ പോകുന്നതാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നല്ലത് എന്നാൽ ഞാൻ പോയില്ല എങ്കിൽ ആശ്വാസദാതാവ് നിങ്ങളുടെ അടുക്കിലേക്ക് വരികയില്ല ഞാൻ പോയാൽ അവനെ നിങ്ങളുടെ അടുക്കിലേക്ക് അയക്കുകയും ചെയ്യും അവൻ വന്ന് പാപത്തെയും ധർമ്മത്തെയും ന്യായവിധിയും കുറിച്ച് ലോകത്തെ ഉത്ബോധിപ്പിക്കും അത് അവർ എന്നിൽ നിന്ന് എന്നിൽ വിശ്വസിക്കായി കൊണ്ട് പാപത്തെ കുറിച്ചും ഞാൻ എന്റെ പിതാവിന്റെ അടുക്കിലേക്ക് പോവുകയും പിന്നെ നിങ്ങളാൽ കാണപ്പെടാതിരിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ധർമ്മത്തെ കുറിച്ചും ഈ ലോകപ്രമാണി വിധിക്കപ്പെട്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ന്യായവിധിയെ കുറിച്ചുമായിരിക്കും ഇനിയും എനിക്ക് വളരെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങളോട് പറയുവാനുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ അവയെ ഗ്രഹിക്കുവാൻ ഇപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്രാപ്തിയില്ല സത്യസ്വരൂപനായ ആത്മാ വരുമ്പോൾ അവൻ നിങ്ങളെ സർവസത്യത്തിലേക്കും വഴി നടത്തും അവൻ സംസാരിക്കയില്ല പിന്നെയോ കേൾക്കയെല്ലാമാണ് ചെയ്ത് സംസാരിക്കുന്നത് വരുമാനിക്കുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങളെ അറിയിക്കും അവൻ എനിക്ക് മഹിമയുണ്ടാക്കും എന്നത് അവൻ എനിക്കുള്ളതിൽ നിന്നെടുത്താണ് നിങ്ങളെ അറിയിക്കുന്നത് എന്റെ പിതാവിനുള്ളത് സകലവും എന്റേതാകുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് എന്നിൽ നിന്നെടുത്തതാണ് എന്ന് ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളെ അറിയിക്കുന്നത് ബാലഖമോ ശ്ലോമോ ശൈനോ ലഘുൽഖോ Barak more let us all stand while with diligence and with voices pleasing to God respond saying Kuriye la iso Kuriye la iso Barak more you who descended today in the likeness of fiery tongues upon the holy apostles and made them perfect by divine gifts you who were brilliantly revealed and made known to be consubstantial with the Father and the Son Make us also worthy of receiving the richness of your divine gifts. We beseech you. You who show the unlettered fishermen to be knowledgeable in the divine wisdom, and they preach the glad tidings of the gospel in the whole world, may we also be shown pure vessels and befitting abodes for your divine gifts. We beseech you Rise You who on the day of Pentecost the day of your coming O God the comforter spirit did abolish the sentence of judgment that was decreed upon us that my spirit shall not dwell in man forever because of their sins You who fulfilled the son's promise and made wise and enlightened the apostles make us worthy by this our proper worship to break all the snares and gauze of the deceitful one we beseech you kuriye lai son kuriye lai son kuriye lai son let us beseech the lord and kneel down kuriye
Grant that we may keep in ourselves your divine gifts and offer you continually pure worship all the days of our lives. Make us pure shrines for your glory and for the indwelling of your glorious divinity. Let us cry aloud and say three times, Kurie lai this past week we remembered the Orma of His Holiness Moramar Beselius Martama Didimos I, who was entombed at Patanaurum Dera. Didimi was our patriarch, was the primate of our church. At this time we remember Didimi. <laughs> Nindasinda 
Moriora, he 